they loading, when they taking the loads out. Because, you know, y'all, you definitely have to, when they bring that load out, somebody tell you they bring the load out, you want to be on your phone, stand up on and, and coming that swing zone, anything can happen. That shit can snap, break. Next thing you know, you got crushed. You did. Hey, yeah, my dad, I remember my dad told me one time, bro. I think it was a check or somebody did in the warehouse. Checking in. Woo, but it's been a rough week. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, when you don't, one thing about it, you can trust people to a certain extent. And some people put more trust in the, uh, the machine. Leave the machine on the docks. You can't trust that shit. Nah, you can't trust them at all. You, um, you have to always watch your back when they loading, when they taking the loads out. Because, you know, y'all, you definitely have to, have, when they bring that load out, somebody tell you they bring the load out. You want to be on your phone, stand up and, and, and come in that swing zone. Anything can happen. That shit can snap, break. Next thing you know, you got crushed. You did. Hey, my dad, I remember my dad told me one time, bro. I think it was a check or somebody did in the warehouse. I think, I, yeah, it happened a long time ago. And they got ran over by a machine. Dude who wasn't paying attention? Flatline. They said they had to scoop them up, put them in the bag. I said, damn, that's so messed up, man. I'm going to tell you my experience. I'm on the boat, and uh, they're loading the boxes. They're not, the, the, the bay. It was years ago, the bay wasn't finished loading. So they was there to bring boxes in, tanks in. And one of the operators, he brought, brought a, a tank in, twin pick. He bring it up over the load. And we walking up on the um, bay and on the catwalk, whatever. We watching the, the crane coming in about the beer, bring the box down. And like, the, I don't know, like the line just snapped or something. The line did snap, but I guess the operator must lost the control. Had some kind of technicality, but the load came down, like came down. It probably about, mm, I'd say about, about 50 feet from hitting that bay. Now, I don't know if that tank was full or if it was empty, but let's say if it was full and that it had that technicality on the ship and that shit would've hit the ground and bust been deadly flames, man, we could have been dead within minutes, within seconds. Cause you don't know what kind of fumes it is. That's why I always say it's best to wait to those, uh, until they have those bays completely loaded or damn near loaded. Cause I don't like working with boxes coming to my head. Yeah, sometimes a pig might fall out. Pig fall out, you up there lashing. And you know, like I said, you have to listen out for that crane. And if you don't hear that crane coming, you lashing. And that box, next thing you know, that box coming right over your head, pig jump out. You wanna be up on that bay or watching work. That wanna happen, but you always have to be attentive looking around. Never have your back turned too low. You don't wanna be in that swing zone up under talking to your friend. Both of y'all having a good conversation and stuff, and they say, you know, load coming over your head. Nah, you don't want that. Let me tell you another instance from my experience. I'm on a wreck and we had some KLB and we stood back on the load and the, uh, the foreman was telling us, he's like, you always got to watch your load. Anything happens, don't ever turn your back on the load. We like, yeah, all right. So we was on a different wreck. So once we got on the load and came from the loading wreck, we got on the wreck, the one where you get back with your uh, distance and stuff. And next thing you know, man, that operator picked that load up and was bringing it onto the ship. The suction gear, suction gear uh, went out. And man, that dang on piece of, uh, I mean, that KLB came down on that wreck, bent the whole wreck up like this. It's a big steel long wreck. 
But he hit that damn wreck, man, bit the whole wreck of a bit up just like this. Now, let's say if you were standing on the end, whatever, you on your phone or not paying attention, and you on one end, and next thing you know, that load came down, man, that shit would have shot your ass up, boy. You done went to the moon, touched, and came back down and <laughs> splattered it everywhere. Mm mm. That'd be messed up right there, but I always have to watch the load, man. You never trust a machine. Things happen, machine breaks down. Some kind of defect, all that, man. But that is my thoughts on that. I'm Eric Longshoreman. Y'all follow me on Instagram, Eric <clears throat> underscore Longshoreman. Oh, and just like, share, you know, all that good stuff, man. Support the real. And I'll get back with y'all on another video. Peace.